Hello friends! Welcome back. My name's Ramon. How are you today? So today we're gonna be talking about a good handful of Korean beauty goodies that I've been testing out. You've seen little hints of them here and there, whether it's in December favorites or just sprinkled into some other videos on my channel. But today we're talking about some K-beauty newness, some smaller brands, some newer stuff to me that I've never heard of really prior to receiving the product. And this video is done in collaboration with a few different parties. First and foremost, this video is pretty much talking about products available through Skin Library. Skin Library is a black owned, Korean beauty retailer based here in London. They have, you know, a good array of K-beauty goodies. A couple of these brands were sent to me through Skin Library, so thank you to them. But also, kind of separate of this, but also involved in this, this video is done in partnership with Access Y, talking about some of their products. I reviewed the Access Y Complete No Stress SPF back in like November, I think. Loved it. So we've been chit chatting in the DMs, and they decided they wanted to collaborate with me to feature some of their products on the channel, so we're talking about those today. And then also, I'm just kind of doing a little roundup of the Beauty of Just On serums, because I've been a couple of them in some of my style Vana videos is the third one I haven't talked about but I do love them a lot I've been using them for months now and they are available through skin library so I figured why not throw them in the mix but before I get into it I'm gonna ask to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare sunscreen and fancy related content on my channel give this video a thumbs up and down below in the comments tell me oh, first of all what are some of your favorite k-beauty brands period I know we talk about that very regularly on this channel but also have you used any of the products I'm gonna talk about from these brands Dr. Oracle, Access Y, Beauty of Jawson what are some of your favorite Favorites. Sound off. Also, I do want to say going into this that the links in the description box for all these products from Skin Library are affiliate links. I also do have a discount code to get you, I think, 10 or 15% off anything you want to purchase from those links if you're not comfortable doing so. Completely understand. But they are available for you to use if you want them. So the first brand we're going to be talking about today is called Dr. Oracle. And I never heard about Dr. Oracle before Skin Library reached out to me, but they're like, hey, this is a brand we'd like you to try out. It's a K-beauty brand, but basically they're kind of like a derm-backed brand. They have like affiliation with a lot of dermatologists around the world so they have like input or like affiliation I don't know but overall what the line is there's a few different sub lines under Dr. Oracle and primarily I'm featuring their 21 stay a thera line which is primarily intended to be for sensitive oily acne prone skin that's even better if you live in humid climates and then one other product I'm going to talk about today is from their radical clear cleansing line but back to Aethera. What it's intended to be is for oily acne prone skin because it's super lightweight, but it's good to help balance the oil and moisture levels in the skin. It also has a lot of anti-inflammatory soothing ingredients because, you know, when you have acne, especially really inflamed breakouts, you need something to like kind of tone that down, bring that irritation inflammation down as well. They're really nice plush nourishing, but like honestly, you barely feel them on the skin. I highlighted their toner and their emulsion back in my December favorites, but they really give your skin that pump of hydration, of nourishment that you really need. When you have oily acne prone skin, and you live in humid climates, you really need that help. I don't know about y'all. I'm from Puerto Rico. I lived in Orlando for a long time. That humidity just does not play well when you have oily skin. You like literally just feel it on your face. So something like this is very beneficial for those kind of environments. So today we're going to be talking about a few products from the Aether line. I have their cleanser, their toner, their emulsion, and I also have their cream. Pretty much consistent through all of these is the presence of bamboo water, which we've seen a little bit in K-Beauty. Keep Cool features it as well, but it just helps to give your skin nice, rich hydration. And the line overall features what's called a lock in pore complex, which is a blend of three primary ingredients, and that's green tea, sage extract, as well as grapeseed oil. And what those do in conjunction with each other is help to give your skin antioxidant, anti-inflammatory benefits, kind of help to regulate sebum and promote more skin clarity. And you also have the nice lightweight nourishment from the grapeseed oil all together. Talking about the cleanser, high key, this is a cleanser for oily skin, period. This really foams up rich. You get the sense you're getting a very thorough, deep, cleanse, which is nice, especially if you live in a more humid climate and you want a nice throw deep cleanse at the end of the night. You have layers of sunscreen and maybe makeup on. It's not my favorite for everyday cleansing, especially now here in the winter in London. My skin needs a little bit more TLC, more hydration. The toner and motion do compensate for that, but honestly, I don't want to use this every day, but does this clean your skin well? 100%. But the toner and emulsion, these are really what stole the show for me. Nice, supple, lightweight textures that really pack nourishment into your skin without you really feeling like you have heavy occlusives on your skin. Toner, hydrates, soothes. The emulsion, this is like oily skin's best friend. Emulsions are basically an emulsion of water and oils. To explain that in another way. It's a super, super, super lightweight moisturizer, low key like serum moisturizer. So having oily skin, I could use this emulsion as is, especially on more humid, like heavy days and be perfectly fine. 
During the winter though, this is just a nice step in a more richly moisturizing routine. Think of it the way dry skin people use the Great Barrier Relief from Crave. Love so much. Then you have the Aethera Cream and this is just a very, very lightweight gel moisturizer texture. This sinks into the skin. Your skin looks supple, juicy, kissed by water. Love the texture and feel of this. I wish it came in bigger packaging, but if I were to say what a favorite product was behind the emulsion, this definitely goes really great along with it. And now let's talk about their powder cleanser. So this is from a different line under Dr. Oracle, the Radical Clear. This entire Radical Clear line is basically very thorough cleansers that are intended to keep your skin nourished and not strip the skin. This is the powder enzyme cleanser. It features pineapple and papaya enzymes in it. This was low-key like a banger. I have a bunch of other products from the Dr. Oracle line. I'm still low-key testing out, but this was the one that stood out to me enough that I'm like, I have to feature it for this. This is a much better version of the Human Race and Tatcha cleanser. The powder for this, so the powder for this is much more lightweight. This low-key feels like flour very thinly milled. I like this a lot more because A, it feels a lot less grainy, a lot less mechanical exfoliate but also it foams a lot more nicely. I feel like I can use a lot less product, whereas with Human Race, I feel like I had to use a lot. Also, the dispenser for this is much thicker, so you can get a lot more product out. It's just a much better user experience overall. And this does cleanse your skin well. Because it is an exfoliating treatment, I don't use this every day, once or twice a week at most, but this was really nice to use. Decently affordable, a lot of bang for your buck. Definitely do recommend this. I don't feel stripped afterwards, but it does effectively cleanse your face, makeup and everything. Go on. So next, let's get into the nitty gritty, juicy details of Access Y. Really similar to the Dr. Oracle ones we just talked about. What Access Y really does is pack great anti-inflammatory, gentle ingredients into their products, giving them really nice, lightweight textures that are still nourishing, but are also intended for more humid climates. They sit nice and lightweight on the skin. You don't really ever feel them, but the benefits show your skin looks great. And you also have a lot of other benefits intended to strengthen the skin barrier, help to prevent some breakouts, and just give your skin a nice boost of moisturization. With Access why a lot of the marketing behind their products you can see on the packaging is based off this 611 concept where each product has six ingredients that really help to kind of give the benefits of the product each individual product has a different mix of six ingredients plus one extra product that's really the heart and soul and core of what that product is about i think it mainly gives like the main benefits and then that last one is essentially like a more innovative technology ingredient they have featured in the product again for each product that changes just because each product can do a different thing i might have different claims they really want to highlight the fact that as most Korean beauty brands do, they use more herbal botanical based extracts to give your skin some nice TLC and also some robust benefits as well. I do have a handful of the individual products in front of me and these are the ones that Access Y themselves sent me. They're part of the partnership. But coincidentally enough, the same week I got these products from Access Y, I also got this little mini set from Skin Library themselves. And this features minis of all the full size products as well. So if you want a trial size or you want a travel size, you got them right here. Let's go through the individual large sizes first. So first on the line, I have the Quinoa One Step Balance Gel cleanser and they're intending for this to be a very thorough cleanse all in one makeup everything gone in a nice hydrating lightweight gel texture and this is very much a lightweight gel cleanser that foams it's a very foamy cleanser i was very shocked by that my one con with this is that the pumps are real small i mean look at this So I feel like in order to get a really thorough cleanse, I need to do like six pumps to equate what I would get in one or two pumps from another cleanser. But does it cleanse the face well? Yes. Do I feel stripped afterwards? No. But what I will say is it's very foamy, so I think this is a lot better for a more oily skin type. Does it take off makeup well? Yes. You obviously have the quinoa. You also have sweet almond oil in this along with calendula and centella, so it's nicely soothing to the skin, and that's what helps to contribute to the non-stripped finish you get after using it. Next on the list is their Autochoke Intensive Skin Barrier Ampule. This is intended to be more more of a soothing, lightweight ampule that's going to give your skin nice, lightweight hydration to the skin while also helping to repair and or maintain a healthy skin barrier. Here's the thing with this. So ingredient wise, you have things like artichokes, centella, licorice root. This also has tea tree up in it, which I personally like to see having more acne prone skin, adenosine, aloe, a lot of good things up in this. It is a very lightweight serum. So you can see here, just dropping it out. It's a nice light gel that when you rub in, just like turns into a water-like texture and it disappears into the skin very quickly. The nice lightweight texture does what Access Y set out to do. Be very quick absorbing, quickly setting, nicely hydrating to the skin. In terms of barrier repair, I like to see a little bit more richness out of my products, but something like this will be really great for summer when I need one product to give me a few different benefits underneath the sunscreen and sit lightweight on the skin so I can just run out the door. So definitely stay tuned for a more summer-based routine. I'm very excited to try this out for that time frame. Next on the list, 
also is their Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. And this to me is what a serum is supposed to be. Ampule, it's a little bit of an in-between area for me as to what an ampule really falls. But generally I assume ampules to be a little bit more rich. This gives me that feel that I want from the Artichoke Serum. Looking at the claims for this, this is supposed to be a obviously dark spot correcting serum that's supposed to be lightweight and help brighten dark spots and have pigmentation, leaving skin hydrated and glowy without being heavy or greasy. The superstar in this is really truly the niacinamide. You got 2% niacinamide up in this, but you also have things like papaya, sea buckthorn, and rice bran. You also have acerola, aka Barbados cherry, which Fenty very much popularized with their skin launch. It's been around apparently. You also have rosemary leaf oil, squalane, and alum twain, all in conjunction with each other to make this what it is. And this is a nice, plush serum. This is what I'm looking for when I want a serum slash ampule. Real talk, the niacinamide is going to do a lot of work in this. Niacinamide, superstar ingredient, helps with your barrier, regulating sebum production, helps with acne. It does a lot, so I like the fact that they're really highlighting that with this. They do that sporadically throughout the line, and it's a low percentage, so it's going to be a lot more tolerable to most skin types and skin concerns. I can't speak to the brightening benefits of this just yet, just because I use so many brightening products, and I'm testing some out, and I'm dedicating a lot of time to those, so stick around. I will hopefully be getting around to testing this a lot more in terms of the brightening benefits later on in the year, but definitely a big standout in the lineup. Next is, I think, one of the most exciting products of the lineup, and this is their Sarah Hart My Type Duo Cream. And so what this is, let me show you. And so what this is, is a double-sided moisturizing product. On one side, you're gonna get a gel moisturizer, and on the other side, you get a little bit more of a rich cream moisturizer. And how they intend for you to use this is pretty much as you see fit. Looking at the claims for this, they market it as being a T-zone moisturizer, so more lightweight moisturizer to go in the more oily areas, and then a U-zone moisturizer. So basically, to go on the more perimeter part of the face tends to be more dry sometimes. But they also say it's a two unique moisturizing textures for every moisturizing need. It helps to hydrate oily skin without the greasiness, but also helps to soften and support dry skin as well. Looking at some of the ingredient claims, the gel side features allantoin, purslane, centella, guaiazoline, which is used a lot by Claire's, a very soothing ingredient, and then you also have licorice root extract. Then the richer cream side has a hoba seed, ceramides, purslane, allantoin, and heart leaf. And heart leaf is the main ingredient they're pushing with this, which is also known as glass wart, and it helps to brighten, has some antioxidant benefits, but also just helps to nicely moisturize the skin. The beauty behind this product, why I love it so much, is basically you have a moisturizer that is tailored to any specific need your skin needs or whatever condition your skin is in. You can use each one for each individual day part. You can use it, as I mentioned, for individual parts of your face or sometimes just cocktail them together. I have oily skin and while I generally prefer some gel moisturizer textures at night, I like something more rich or sometimes depending on the condition my skin is in, whether it's really dehydrated or kind of compromised, I love me a cream moisturizer. So this helps me to just customize how I'm feeling my moisturizer for that specific day. This is the standout product to me. I love this the most, definitely my most recommended. And then last is their complete no stress physical sunscreen. I'm not gonna go too in depth with it just because I have a full review on it. I'll have it linked in the card above. It's a mineral sunscreen, super lightweight, leaves a natural to semi matte finish on the skin. On my kind of brown, it leaves minimal to no white cast. I'm not entirely sure though for deeper darker skin tone, so be weary of that. But what I love about this is that that it has a nice lightweight texture and it has a nice anti-inflammatory benefit to it. When I was in the middle of testing this out, I got a reaction from mixing a few different skincare products together prior to applying this and I had to go wash those off. Within five minutes of applying this after the reaction, the redness was completely gone. The inflammation was considerably reduced. That really attests to how nicely this helps to soothe the skin. So definitely love this, especially if you have skin that's more UV compromised. Definitely recommend this one. And again, you can get the full sizes for most of these off of Skin Library. They also have this really cute mini set, which I'm like obsessed with. Look at how cute this packaging is, which features everything I talked about and also a mask that I've never used before. It's like a pore clarifying mask. Can't attest to that. You get a mini in here if you wanna try it out. Super cute, the link for this is going to be down in the description box. I think it's definitely worth checking out. And the next brand we're talking about is Beauty of Joson. And I've actually mentioned their serums in a couple other Style Vana based videos. Beauty of Joson sent me them back in May, I believe, and I've been using them consistently since then. Thoroughly enjoy them. And I've talked about why I enjoy them in each of my Style Vana videos, but I'm gonna highlight some of those today. I haven't used much from the brand just yet. I am getting ready to do a full brand review soon though, as I'm getting more of the products in. So stay tuned. But talking about the serums, you have three different options. You have their Green Tea and Panthenol Serum. This is also known as their Calming Serum. Their Glow 
serum, which features propolis and niacinamide, and then their repair serum, which features ginseng and snail mucin. Talking about their glow serum, again, this one features propolis and niacinamide, 2% niacinamide to be exact. And what this is intended to do is help to control sebum, have some anti-acne benefits, help to refine some pores, and help to really brighten the complexion up. The texture of this, the texture of all these are honestly amazing. You really, like for me, I like to feel a texture on my skin to know that it's doing something. And each of these is really richly hydrating, a little bit more viscous as a serum, in my opinion, should be. But this one does give you that glow, that radiance I really love and enjoy. Definitely love the benefits I get from this. You have neem, you have tea tree, you have turmeric, centella, you also have betaine salicylate. So you're getting hydration, some brightening, and some anti-inflammatory benefits as well. Looking at their repair serum, again, this one is ginseng and snail mucin. What this one's supposed to do is really hydrate your skin while giving your skin antioxidant benefits, which during the day protects your skin, but at night helps to also repair your skin as well. Fundamentally, again, these do really hydrate the skin and give you a nice, supple, radiant glow. Besides the ginseng and snail mucin, you also have niacinamide, adenosine, and licorice root, which help to give you those antioxidant benefits, but also help to soothe and really brighten the skin as well. And lastly is their calming serum, and this one's the green tea and panthenol one. Panthenol and green tea, anti-inflammatory, really help to strengthen the skin barrier. You're also looking at centella, mugwort, you have allantoin, you also have neem and licorice in these as well. For this one, I find this really helpful when I do exfoliation. It's a little bit too harsh on the skin. This really helps to bring down the redness and soothe my skin. Fundamentally, I think all of these really help to hydrate the skin. They have really nice plush serum textures, specifically the ginseng and the propolis ones have richer textures because this one has snail mucin. You really get that tacky viscous texture. And then with the propolis one, it really feels like a very lightweight honey texture on the skin. I find each of them just helps to give your skin a nice radiant glow. Having nice cinnamon in some of these helps to give you some brightening and skin barrier repair benefits. But all of them are just really nice experiences and textures depending on what it is you're looking for out of your serums and skincare concerns. I do know Beauty of Gelstone does have these in a three sets. You can also get these individually if you'd like as well. But as I'm exploring more of the brand, I'm really excited because again, what I love about K-Beauty and what Beauty of Joseon really tries to highlight is their hangbang, aka going back to traditional Korean medicinal herbs, botanical extracts to give you those benefits in your skin without using as harsh of active ingredients as we do use here in the West, which is nice. Sometimes you want a little bit of a more gentle TLC. I have their ginseng essence coming in soon. I know they have a cleanser and a moisturizer, so stay tuned for a full brand review because that will be coming up on the channel very soon. And with that, those are some K-Beauty brand highlights courtesy of Skin Library and also done in partnership with Access Y. All these goodies are gonna be linked down in the description box through affiliate links with Skin Library. If you're not comfortable with those, don't worry. Just know that these are available at Skin Library, but you can also use my discount code to get a little bit of coin off your order as well. Getting K-Beauty easily in London has been a feat that Skin Library has made very, very easy. So shout out to them. I also wanna reiterate the importance of supporting black owned business, especially in the K-Beauty space, especially black female owned business. I've partnered with and talked about any skincare before on my channel, which is owned by my friend Chantoria as being a really important asset in the skincare industry, especially because they carry really great K-Beauty brands, they ship internationally. And now you got Skin Library having space in that industry as well, really pushing boundaries and being really important representation in the K-Beauty space as well. So next time you're ordering any K-Beauty goodies, be sure to check out Skin Library. They are based in the UK and they do service the UK, EU, international markets. So no matter where you live, you can get you some K-Beauty. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And down in the comments again, let me know, have you tried any of these products? What are some other K-Beauty favorites you're really loving right now? Just because every time you guys recommend or mention new products I haven't used yet, it's a really great recommendation to feature on the channel. Thanks for watching guys, bye.